This is Alex Klein, and in this presentation we will be covering the topic of accretion. The following is a simulation in a program called Universe Sandbox. The animation displays the fundamental aspects of accretion. By definition, accretion is the process by which seeds of metal and rock grow into full-fledged planets. As you can see, we are currently presented with a model of particles, and for the purpose of this presentation, it is assumed the particles are microscopic in size. Currently, we can see the particles are having their potential energy converted into kinetic energy and thermal energy as their mass draws them together. In order to make the animation as easy as possible to see and understand, I have removed the nebula background as well as added glow and trail effects. Throughout the animation, I make use of the projected paths as well as the relation lines of the particles. That is, you will be able to see throughout the animation at different times not only how the physical process of accretion looks, but also predictive models which should better help to demonstrate how accretion functions. Pictured now are the relation lines. At this point in the animation, we can see our particles have begun to form small planetesimals or pieces of planets. While this animation is accurate in displaying the physics behind the process, it is not perfect in that it does not simulate accretion in an accretion disk around a forming sun. For the purpose of this demonstration, it is assumed our model of particles simulates the formation of a single planetesimal in an entire accretion disk of similar planetesimals. Throughout the animation, you can see the impacts of particles as small flashes of light accompanied by the release of smaller particles or dust, as pictured here. Planetesimals such as this in fact condense over a period of a few million years. Their growth, however, is not linear in that they grow exponentially faster in the beginning of this process as compared to the end when there are fewer particles as currently seen. At this point in our animation, the few remaining particles are having, uh, are having gravitational encounters. Their orbits are currently being altered by the forces of gravity each planetesimal is exerting on the others. Due to the conversion of angular momentum, the particles will not directly fall into each other, but will slowly spiral inward toward the main planetesimal. Eventually, these orbits will collapse into the planetesimal. At this point, I would like to point out differences in accretion between terrestrial and Jovian planets, as they may not be apparent. During accretion of terrestrial planetesimals, the particles that are mainly condensed are rocky and metal. Also, terrestrial planets are generally formed closer to the center of a system. Jovian planets, on the other hand, are formed farther from the center of a system as seen by their composition of icy and hydrogen molecules, along with metal and rock. Jovian planets dwarf terrestrial planets in terms of mass, which explains why they were able to capture the hydrogen and helium gases, that being their higher gravity. The process of accretion also explains how Jovian planets acquired their moons, in a very similar manner as the planets formed. 
Once a Jovian planet forms, it generally will have a gas disk in orbit around it, much like an accretion disk around a forming star. The particles in this gas disk will accrete over time and form icy moons, which will orbit the planet near its equator.